Hello, good morning. Okay, may I ask uh, Michael June to lead our prayer? Ma'am, napapagay buhat mo, nag-train pa po ko. Ah, sige, sige po. Um, how about uh, Ray Michael? Okay, so good morning everyone. So today we will discuss about our week six topic discussion about introduction to HTML. Okay, so so what is HTML? So HTML is the standard markup language for creating a web page. Okay, HTML stands for hypertext markup language and it is used widely a uh, most widely used language to write web pages okay hypertext refers to the way in which web pages or html documents are linked together thus the link available on the web page is also called the is called uh, hypertext okay html is a markup language which means you use HTML to simply mark up a text document with tags that tell a web browser how to structure it to display. Okay. So HTML describes the structure of a web page. HTML consists of a series of elements. HTML elements tell the browsers how to display the content. HTML elements are also uh, represented by tags. HTML tags label pieces of content such as heading, paragraph, table, etc. And lastly, browsers do not display the HTML tags but use them to render the content of the page. Okay. So why we need why we need to learn HTML? So originally, HTML was developed to the intent of defining the structure of documents like heading paragraphs, lists, and so forth to facilitate the sharing of scientific information between researchers. Now, HTML is being widely used to format web pages with the help of different tags available in the HTML language. So HTML is a must 
for students like you and working professionals to become a great software engineer, especially when they are working in the web development domain. So here are the some of the advantages of learning HTML. So first is it creates website. So you can create a website or customize an existing web template if you know how to code in HTML. Second is you will become a web designer. So if you want to start a career as a professional web designer, so you must learn uh, or you must adapt the skill in HTML html and css okay next is uh you will understand the web if you want to optimize your website to boost its speed and performance it is good to know html to yield the best results fourth and last uh, you will learn also other languages so once you understand the basic of html then other related technologies like JavaScript, PHP, or Angular are became are, are become easier to understand. Okay. <laughs> so applications of HTML. So HTML is one of the most uh, again widely used language all over the web. So few a uh, few of them are web pages development. So first, uh, HTML is used to create pages which are rendered over the web. Almost every page of web is having HTML tags it, in it to render in it details in browser. Second is internet navigation. HTML provides tags which are used to navigate from one page to another and is heavily used in internet navigation. Third is responsive UI. HTML pages nowadays works well on all platforms. So in mobile, in tabs, in desktop, or laptops, owing to responsive design strategy. Uh, fourth is offline support. So HTML pages, once loaded, can be made available offline on the machine without any need of internet. And last, is it is also used in game development. So HTML5 has native support for rich experience and is now useful in gaming development arena as well, okay? So this is the example code. This is the example code of HTML, okay? So this is a small conventional HTML hello world her hello world program. Okay, so we have the doc type HTML. So it defines the document to be HTML5. And then the opening tag of HTML, it is the root element of an HTML page. Then the head tag, it contains meta information about the document. Then the title tag, it specifies a title for the document. Then the body, it contains the visible, visible page content. Then the heading, so each one, it defines a large he heading, okay? So there are uh, six sizes of heading, so from H1 to H6, okay? And then lastly, the paragraph. So it defines the paragraph, the key tag, okay? So later on, uh, you will learn uh, lots of uh, HTML tags and their purposes and how to use them, okay? So ito yung page, uh, HTML page structure. So this is the visualization of an HTML page structure. Okay, so from our... HTML sample code kanina. So, ganito, siya, ganito yung structure niya in a... Ano yan siya eh? Kung sa browser na mode. So, yung doc type HTML. Then, yung HTML tag natin. So, ito yung uh, outer or the biggest um, box. 
Tapos yung yung head tag natin, so yun yung first na box inside the HTML na box. Nakamute ka po, ma'am. Ay, hello guys. Asa na kita tadapit? Napilit ka sa katungkuan, ma'am, tong sa code ni sample. Ay, okay. So, dari. Tama ba? Kanang sa my body, dapit, ma'am. Okay, sige po. Thank you. Sige, usabon na lang nato niya. So, again, this is the HTML sample code. Okay, so... This is the doc type. Uh, this uh, doc type HTML na tag, so it defines the document to be HTML5. Then yung HTML na tag, it is the root element of an HTML page. Then the head tag, it contains meta information about the document. Then yung lahat ng uh, tags and information na nakalagay sa head na tag natin diyan siya makikita or it is not visible in the browser. Then the title tag, it specifies the title of the document. Then the body, it contains the visible page content. So all the information, the tags that you will include inside the body tag, yan lang yung visible sa ating browser. So, yan lang yung makikita natin later on once na i-open natin yung HTML code natin sa browser. So, either in Google or in Microsoft Edge or in Mozilla Firefox. Okay? Then, we have H1 tag. So, it defines a large heading. So, there are six sizes in heading. So, yun yung H1 up to H6. Okay? Then lastly, we have the P tag, which is the paragraph tag, uh, the paragraph, okay? So, yun siya. Then, the HTML page structure, so, from the example code kanina, so, ano yung structure niya? So, first, we have the HTML tag, so, yan yung uh, largest na box na makikita nyo sa gilid, gilid. and then, the first box inside the HTML box, yan yung head. And then, yung second is yung body. Then, inside the head box, yan yung title na tag natin. Then, yung second box again, yan yung body. Tapos, inside the body, we have the H1 and also the paragraph. Okay? So, bakit... Um, white yung background nila. So, yan kasi, yan lang kasi yung makikita natin later on sa browser. Okay? Once they open natin yung code natin. Okay? So, next is the browser support. So, from the page structure, so, ano yung makikita natin sa browser? So, first is the page title. Okay? So, yung, yung page title na nakalagay sa head tag natin, yan yung makikita natin later on sa browser, yung nasa tab, okay? Tab header. And then, inside the body, yung H1, so, ito yun siya, okay? And the paragraph. Ayan. The rest, hindi na natin sila makikita sa browser, okay? But they are, also, but they are very important kasi sila yung uh, magda-determine or sila yung makatutulong kay browser later on i-determine kung ano yung roles or ano yung um, kakalabasan ng code natin later on. Okay? Then, HTML editors. So, a simple text editor is all you need to learn HTML. So, Web pages can be created and modified by using professional HTML editors. However, for learning HTML, it is recommended a simple text editor like Notepad. Yan yung default na application na makikita natin sa ating PC or sa laptop. Okay? And we have text edit kung, kung Mac or Apple yung, uh, yung laptop or desktop ninyo na computer. Okay? 
using a simple text editor is a good way to learn HTML. Okay? Uh, sa akin, yung ginagamit ko is Sublime Editor. Okay? Para um, mabilis lang mag-gets kasi sa Sublime kasi uh, uh, yung mga tags niya is may color-color kasi na identifier. Okay? Then, his, uh, HTML history timeline. Okay, so let's watch this video. While surfing on the internet, you must have visited various websites. How colorful and nicely designed these websites are. Each screen displayed on a website is called a web page. A website is a collection of many web pages in the same way as a notebook has many pages. Any website or web page can be visited using the web browsers such as Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Opera Safari, etc. Let us now learn how to create a web page. To design a web page, you need to learn a new language called HTML. HTML. What is HTML? Let us learn about it. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is the language that is understood by a web browser for composing text and images for a web page. HTML is basically a building block for web pages. It is a format that tells a computer how to display a web page. Now let us know the history of HTML. HTML is an evolving language and each new definitive version is given a number. The first definitive version was HTML 2.0. This had most of the elements but was missing some of the Netscape extensions and did not support tables or align attributes. HTML3 was the next one. It was an ambitious effort on the part of their record to upgrade the features and utility of HTML. However, it was never completed or implemented. HTML3.2 was the next official version, integrating support for table, image heading and other element align attributes. HTML 4.01 is the next version. It includes support for most of the proprietary extensions as support for extra features. HTML 5 is the current official standard. It includes support for CSS, tables, hyperlinks, JavaScript enhancements, and many more. HTML has not been around for many years. November 1990 marks the day of the first web page and back then there were little to no HTML standards to be followed. A group called the World Wide Web Consortium was then formed and have since set the standards that are widely accepted and we will base our teachings around them. You must be wondering which software is used to write the HTML code for designing web pages. It is only a simple text editor like the notepad where we type the HTML code and link it to the web browser. Now let us learn how to save the HTML file. If you simply type the file name in the Save As dialog box and press the Save button, the computer will save it as a notepad file with a file extension of .txt. However, you want it to be saved as a web page. So save the file by giving the file extension as HTML or HTM. In our next video, you can learn about HTML tags, tag attributes, creating and saving HTML document. You already know how to use Okay. Okay guys, so do you have any question?
None so far, ma'am. Okay, so that uh, okay, so that is our um topic for this week. And then next week, the next topic natin is all about the uh not all kay nabahin siya sa dua ka week so some of the HTML tags. Okay, so how to design a web page, okay? So na um okay na uh, homa na mo sa sa other nga um exercises or assignments sa week number four and number five. Lao para abutong ang ansiran mam. <laughs> Okay. Wait lang ha. So, so nag-gets man ang Drian na part. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Okay, so if na mo yung mga question, again, um, chat lang sa to ang group chat. Tapos, um, remind lang na ko tamutanan nga uh, na post, na post naman ang ano no, ang atong summative test na po na number three. And then, ug ang atong mga exercises or assignments uh, para sa week number Four, five, and also the six. Okay. So, mo lang to guys, and thank you for attending our online class. Uh, hope to see you again on uh, next week, uh, Monday again. Mon next week Monday for the next na session. So, thank you and bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Bob, ma'am.